guys. Welcome to Prophetic Dance of Chosen Explosion. So today I'm going to be teaching you guys some more prophetic moves that you can use in your praise and worship dances. I'm not exactly sure if you saw my first video or not, but if you haven't, please go and check it out. That was our first video on the prophetic dance teaching, and on that video I showed some of the prophetic movements that I've been using in my own praise and worship dances. So now this is the second half of that, and I wanted to give you guys some more movements that the Lord has shown me throughout my dancing. And with these, we're going to show you how to use different, uh, use scarves, use flags, use your hands. I'm going to show you how to use these in different surroundings. All right, guys, so let's get started. All right, guys, so this first movement is called Prepare the Way. And the scripture that supports this is Mark 1, verses 3. The voice of one crying in the wilderness Prepare the way of the Lord. Make his path straight. All right, guys. So notice here how I'm just using my hands. This is a really simplistic move. You don't really need flags or scarves. And this is something that the Lord personally has just been talking to me about. He's been talking to me about just using my hands. And with this move here, this is actually proclaiming to prepare the way for the Lord's glory to come in and heal and deliver and set free his people. And so again, here, if you're um, with the flags, you're more restrictive in the home. In this movement here, I noticed that I had to hold my arms just a little bit closer. So in this movement, just be aware of your space and your surroundings there. So just make sure that you know exactly where you're placing the flags there. And it's still a beautiful move. And when I got outside, oh man, if you're able to be in a large church, then you're going to have a lot more room and you're going to be able to use bigger flags, which is great to use there. And I think this is a beautiful move and you really just get to be expressive there with the flags. All right, guys, so this next movement is called Holy. And the scripture that supports this is Isaiah 6 verses 3. And one cried to another and said, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord of hosts. The whole earth is full of his glory. All right, guys. So with this movement, again, this is called holy. And when I think about this word, and also I want you guys to start thinking about that when you, when you dance, when we dance, we're actually joining with the angels. And that the angels actually rejoice in the heavenlies. And when I do this movement, I feel his presence all around me. And I feel like he's right in front of me. And just as in, in scripture where it was stating about the angels crying, holy, holy, holy. I really wanted you guys to start thinking about that because there really is no word that fully describes God. But the angels chose this word and they chose to proclaim to God, holy, holy, holy. So again, if the angels are crying out this word, then how much are we to say the same? And when you're outside, you can really use the, the bigger flags and really use this movement a lot. This next movement is called Seek Your Face. And the scripture that supports this is Psalms 27, verses 8. When you said, Seek my face, my heart said to you, Your face, Lord, I will seek. All right, guys, in this movement, again, it's seek my face. And this is really what the Lord wants us to do. He wants us to seek his face. 
And you think about it, if we do this, we will find all that he is. And when we do this movement, we are exclaiming, seek his face and pursue his heart, not just what he does for us, but who he is. And when we do this movement, we find all, we find it all in the face of Christ. And again, with this movement, I loved using just the, if you notice here, I used the single flag and that was a really pretty movement there. And also when I got outside, I used just one flag again because I thought it really just accentuated the movement. And this next movement is called Pour Out. And the scripture that supports this is Psalm 62, verses 8. Trust in Him at all times, you people. Pour out your heart before Him. God is a refuge for us. All right, guys. So again, this next movement is pour out. And what I want you guys to know is that you are not only declaring this to the people and to the congregation, but when you do this, mo this movement, you're actually doing this for yourself. And we decide that we are going to pour ourselves out upon him. And you're also encouraging the congregation to join in and pour, pour their love out towards Him. And when we pour out our hearts to God, God actually responds to us and He responds to His children. And when we pour out our heart, He is faithful to us. So always remember that. And when I was outside here again, I was just pouring my love out upon him. And it's really a beautiful movement with the flags there. This next movement is called Bow Down. And the scripture that supports this is Psalms 95, verses 6. O oh, come, let us worship and bow down. Let us kneel before the Lord, our Maker. All right, guys, in this next movement, this is bow down. And in this movement, it is really, I want you guys to really know this is showing surrender. And it is proclaiming that we give all of ourselves fully to him. And we're also declaring to the congregation to do the same. And when we bow down to him, we actually, we give God the highest honor. So again, with this movement, I did use the flags here. I was a little bit restricted there, but it's still a beautiful move. And you can still proclaim that glory and that honor to him. And when I was outside, again, if you're in a larger church, this is going to be a beautiful movement for you to use there. And it's really going to proclaim that glory and honor to him. This next movement is called Stirring Up. And the scripture that supports this is 2 Timothy 1, verses 6. Therefore, I remind you to stir up the gift of God, which is in you, through the laying on of my hands. All right, guys, this next movement is called Stirring Up. And this movement can be used personally. So I just want you guys to know that. And notice how I'm using my hands there to stir up. And I want you guys to start thinking about when you're doing this movement, whether using your hands or using scarves there, I want you to start imagining that you're stirring up the glory in the spirit realm because you also stir up your own spirit because sometimes we need to be stirred up and awaken that passion that is inside of us. And if you notice here, I just use one single flag there. And with this flag, it has a spinning mechanism to it also, which makes the movement very beautiful and graceful there and very flowy. This next movement is called Glory. And the scripture that supports this is 1 Chronicles 16, verses 24. 
declare his glory among the nations, his wonders among all peoples. Okay, guys, this movement is called glory. And this is really a movement of declaration. I want you guys to think about when you do this movement, we're actually giving to him glory and that he gives glory back to us. And as our praises go up, which is the glory that we're giving to him, he sends back his love and adoration, which is glory for us. And notice here that I'm using the, the scarves there to bring us glory. And right here, again, I'm using the flags. I'm a little bit more restricted, but it's still a beautiful movement there. And I'm still able to bring his glory. And when you're outside, if you notice here, I have larger flags. And I actually have a gold flag there, which means glory. So if you haven't checked out my last video, there is a teaching on the colors of the flags. The final movement for today is called Fire Fall Down. And the scripture that supports this is Revelations 13, verses 13. He performs great signs, startling miracles, even making fire fall from the sky to the earth in men's sight. All right, guys. So the last movement for today is Fire Fall Down. So notice here that I'm using just the basic hand movement there, which makes it it's still a very simple move, but still beautiful and graceful. And when we do this movement, we're actually proclaiming for God to come down. And this movement is saying that he is the God that answers by fire. And we ask God to do great and wonderful things. And he makes himself known to man, as per the scripture states. And here again in the home, I was a little bit restricted there with the flags. I was still able to bring the fire down. And on the last one here, while I was outside, I could really use those bigger flags and could really accentuate the movement there. And it's beautiful and graceful and flowy. All right, guys. Well, that's it. That's all I have for today. I hope that you have enjoyed watching this video. I hope that you have learned a lot today and that you get out there. And I hope it has inspired you to do even more movements for our God. So again, guys, keep worshiping God through the dance. And until next time, God bless you. Bye-bye.